with one of the greatest strongmen of all time, Brian Shaw, training to compete in arm wrestling, we're seeing more crossover between the two sports than ever before. I myself am a huge fan of arm wrestling and love training it. So today, we're gonna look at five arm wrestlers that have competed in strongman. So first off, we have Cleve Dean, who started arm wrestling in the late 70s, winning multiple world titles over the course of his career, and is largely regarded as one of the best arm wrestlers of all time. His match against Virgil Arciero in 1978 was hailed as the biggest super match of all time and was won by Cleve, earning him the unofficial title of the world's best arm wrestler, just one year into his arm wrestling career. So Cleve was invited to compete in the world's strongest man in 1979 and 1980. And this was very much back in the time when athletes just from other sports came in to compete in this one competition together. Strongman as a standalone sport didn't really exist back then. He came sixth in 1979 and then ninth in 1980. His best events in those competitions were the truck pull, which he managed to win in 1980, and the bar bending events. And Cleve apparently wasn't even really much of a gym goer. He had that natural farm strength and he was a very large man, reportedly weighing as much as 500 to 600 pounds at the peak of his arm wrestling career. He was an absolute beast. So there's no surprise there for me that he won the truck pull and the bar bending. The bar bending is an event I think arm wrestlers could cross over to very, very well. Obviously, extremely strong hands and wrists for all of them but Cleve was a mammoth of a man with just the biggest arms and hands you have ever seen. Next we have a huge name in the world of strongman who actually started his career in arm wrestling the one and only Magnus Samuelsson. Magnus only pulled for about four years altogether. He won his European title in 1991 in the under 110 kilo class but then decided to put his focus into strongman. Now Magnus had some amazing strengths, once again from the arm wrestling background he had. He was renowned for his hand strength, his grip strength, particularly his bicep strength as well with some ridiculous bicep curls that he's done in the gym. He was always very, very good at arm over arm type events and he's one of the few people in the world that's actually managed to close the Captains of Crush number four gripper, which is a massive feat of strength. So Magnus's arm wrestling background actually majorly benefited him in the 1995 World's Strongest Man competition, where he ended up breaking Mega Man's arm in an arm wrestling match. And that is the last time we've ever seen arm wrestling at the World's Strongest Man, and rightly so. You can be a hugely powerful human being, but if you don't know the, the technical proficiencies of arm wrestling, it can be extremely dangerous. So. Yeah, you get a ridiculous strong guy like Mega Man who's just kind of driving sideways. Magnus is kind of holding him there with a lot of back pressure and you just see that arm snap. It's not nice and rightly so, they took it out of the world's strongest man. So Magnus, one of the absolute legendary names in the world of strongman. He won the world's strongest man in 1998. He competed at the world's strongest man 13 times, won multiple titles across the world, but he once again started his career in arm wrestling. And there has been videos leaked recently where he's talking about coming into arm wrestling once again. So next we have another really big name in the sport of strongman who started out in arm wrestling, the Titus Lalas. He arm wrestled from the age of 17 until he was around 25 years old. And in that time he became the Lithuanian arm wrestling champion. He won an arm wars competition, which is obviously put on by Neil Pickup, another strongman crossover before venturing into the world of strongman. So Lalas competed in his first Lithuania Strongest Man back in 2007 and over the course of his career he won eight international titles, the biggest being the Arnold Strongman Classic in 2013 and he was so close to winning the World's Strongest Man in 2012. Lalas isn't the tallest of the athletes and he was stopped in his tracks by the Power Stairs which it's usually the Atlas Stones, which is actually a really good event for Lalas, but the one year they had the power stairs. The one year he probably could have become the world's strongest man. Yeah, they put a height event in and it cost him, but he was an absolute beast in his prime and a very good arm wrestler. Someone who again is getting back into arm wrestling a little bit. We saw him at the Shaw Classic, unfortunately pick up a bit of an injury, but he had the, um, the super match against Eddie Hall at one of the Giants live yes. shows a few years back. 
And he is training arm wrestling once again. If you look at Lala's ridiculous arms on him, very, very powerful individual. I'd love to see him get back into it properly. So next we have one of the biggest names in arm wrestling of all time, Denis Saplenkov. Now, not many people know that Dennis actually competed in Strongman for a while. Obviously, one of the biggest names in the world when it comes to arm wrestling. However, I've actually had the pleasure of competing against Dennis in a team competition many, many years ago when I was first starting out. And you just saw this beast of a man. Unfortunately for Dennis, some of his kind of injuries that he's picked up from arm wrestling actually hold him back a little bit in Strongman as he can't fully extend on a log. Um, but a beast of a man and not just arm wrestling strength but great all-round power as well. So Dennis started arm wrestling at the age of 14 becoming a junior champion and he moved into strongman in 2004 and then later powerlifting. Also in 2008 he bench pressed 270 kilos in a WPC powerlifting meet. His best deadlift was 340 kilos and his best log lift was 180 kilos. Dennis's arm wrestling strength was also ridiculous and he had the strict curl world record set at 113 kilos. Dennis is one of the greatest arm wrestlers of all time and he has wins against almost every one of the top arm wrestlers. Sadly, in 2019, Dennis started to suffer poorly with his health and needed to take time away from the sport. Dennis is now on the comeback trail. He did beat John Brzezink a couple of years ago, lost to Devin Lorat recently, and he was supposed to be pulling against Ermes Gasparini just recently. However, injuries have postponed that match for now. Hopefully, we will see Dennis back to his best. So finally, we have Kurt Kvikstad, who was a two-time winner of Norway's Strongest Man. Kurt competed in the World's Strongest Man in 1998. This was a slightly odd year because they had 10 groups of four men this year and just the winner would proceed to the final. Kurt, unfortunately, he didn't make the final. He was third place in his group behind Wout Zylstra and Derek Boyer. And he went on to arm wrestling once his strongman career was finished. And he became a two-time champion in the Grandmaster class competing for the WAF. Yeah, not a huge amount of strongman history from Kurt. However, he was a two-time winner of Norway's Strongest Man and he did actually compete at the World's Strongest Man also. So we could have made this a much longer list. Obviously, now you've got the likes of Brian Shaw, who seem to be getting quite heavily into arm wrestling. But we really are seeing a lot of crossover between the two sports right now. There's a lot of strong men that enjoy being challenged, obviously. And, you know, arm wrestlers as well that want to challenge themselves in different sports. Brian Shaw is the big name right now. Just recently collabed with Devin Lara. And, you know, there's big talks of him going on to be a, a major superstar in arm wrestling. Arm wrestling is a very tough sport and there's a lot of strong men that have got into it and do reasonably well. However, to get to the likes of Levon that we're seeing the talks of, it will take time. But Brian Shaw is an immensely strong man. You've seen the likes of Rob Frampton. He's developed his arm wrestling abilities. I have got into it and I'm enjoying it, starting to compete a little bit more as well. The likes of Matthias Belsack, he's had a number of super matches in the sport. And we're even seeing Konstantin Janasha train with Levan Sagnashvili, the Georgian Hulk, one of the, the, I mean, the greatest arm wrestler. I don't even think anyone can argue it right now. The man is an absolute beast. They're great friends. And we're seeing that kind of, you know, collab, if you like, strongman getting into arm wrestling once again. I think it's great for both sports to have that crossover, bringing fans from arm wrestling into strongman and vice versa, the strongman fans getting into arm wrestling. There are big names in both. And when you see a major name like Levan or Devon coming into the strongman world or the Brian Shaws going into the arm wrestling world, it's a big collab for both sports and can only help improve and build the, the, the brand, the following for both. Having that ridiculous strength that strong men have all over body strength, once they can learn the, the, the technical nuances of arm wrestling and develop the specific strength needed as well. I remember when I started arm wrestling, there's certain, I've got a very strong grip for holding onto bars. Mm -hmm. However, within the arm wrestling world, it was more finger strength, more wrist strength was more important. And then this kind of rising movement that is just something that strong men don't need to do. So. It takes a little bit of time. However, having that base to build off can only be an advantage if you can then learn the, the skill side of it as well. There are two elements to arm wrestling. It's not just power and you need both to be really, really good. So as we've said, there's a number of strong men that get into arm wrestling. There have been strong men in the past. I mean, I know Iron Bibby has kind of stepped into arm wrestling and been very, very good. <laughs> JF Caron, he's done mm. arm wrestling. There's a whole host of, of good strong men that have done arm wrestling as well. 
So let us know your thoughts on which strong men you'd like to see doing arm wrestling. Who do you think could be really, really good? We've seen people talking about Mark Felix with his ridiculous hand strength. He'd be great at arm wrestling. There's so many talented athletes that could move well to arm wrestling. However, also on the flip side, do you think there's any arm wrestlers that could step into the strongman world? That would be an interesting collab and a video I'd like to see. Where are arm wrestlers strong? Where are the strong men strong? I mean, I, I train with the, the British heavyweight champion. In the gym, I destroy him. In the arm wrestle, on the arm wrestling table, very, very different. He destroys me. So it's all, you know, the, the specific training for the sport. However, there's always going to be strength. The arm wrestlers with that wrist strength, the bicep strength, they're good at arm over arms, cone and circle type events, normally good at lifting atlas stones. It's when it comes to the lower body strength, they tend to struggle a little bit more. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you next time.